It's Nick Hausman here with Wrestling Inc. at StarCast 4, and I am joined right now by none other than the Bad Boy, Joey Janela. That's me. Joey, you're looking like uh, you're looking like a Vietnam protester right now. Is that is that the look you want? Yeah, yeah. Every uh, every so often, a uh, wrestler has to evolve into a new look, mm. and my uh, current look is um, uh, what's his name from uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah, well, I was gonna say the Forrest Gump guy. I want to say it's Woody. Is it? It's not Woody Guthrie. Oh, I don't know. I, it's, it's something else. I know who you're talking about. Is it Woody? Who would who would know this? I know what you're talking. I know who you're talking about the guy that was at the Washington Monument. Yeah, without the legs. Yeah, without the. Well, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I forgot his name. Anyway, well, if you chop your legs off, you kind of look like Lieutenant Dan too. So Lieutenant, that's what I'm saying. Lieutenant oh, you were Dan. Oh, dude, I was thinking of the other guy, the lead, the guy that was Dan. the lead hippie that was like. You no. know, at the foot of the wash, I like that. Lieutenant Dan, I guess. You want to? So is that what you want to be? No, I just, I just like to look weird. Okay. All right. Well, fair. We got a big match tomorrow night. Full gear. Sean Spears. How's it feel to be performing as part of AEW's first paper? Uh, I, I should say first non. WrestleMania type pay per view, like all out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think all their pay per views were like WrestleMania. I think uh, it's what all the AEW pay per views blow WrestleMania away in the last couple of years. And WrestleMania is just, it's still such a spectacle, but the framework of WrestleMania has cooled down so much in the last couple of years. It just doesn't feel fresh. And uh, I think AEW, every show they do is uh, massive. You know, so, uh, it's just another, you know, it's another uh, mark in uh, the Joey Janela story. Well, here's the thing, Joey. Last time we talked, you said you didn't want to be known for car crash style matches, but they keep putting you in these like unsanctioned lights out matches. Hardcore, you got to have the one match with Kenny, I feel like, on Dynamite that really blew everybody away and show everyone what you could do. But you're still, you're still kind of getting no. put that hardcore role. You don't feel that? No, not anymore. Like, I kind of complain that. It's like, I don't want to be pigeonholed into this uh, hardcore stuff. Yeah, okay. Because on the indies, you know, it was, uh, I would do the hardcore stuff and uh, I excel at that, of course, but only for blow off matches and uh, the end of storylines. Sometimes it was people just wanted to see me uh, get these car accident matches. Matches, which I was fine with, but I'm older now, I'm 30 years old, and uh, you know, my body is not what it used to be, even though I am uh, I am feeling great, but it's not what it used to be. Those car crash matches take years off your career, and uh, I just want to show everyone and prove all the haters wrong, all the new AEW fans that are just seeing me for the first time that I'm not just that, that I, I'm multi versatile in wrestling. Oh, this girl just hit her head. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. Well, she wants to show that she doesn't have to just do car crash matches. Oh, she's either. a star. Oh, she's a star. Oh, her head. Oh, yeah, we're talking about, by the way, one of the uh, waitresses by the bar right now. Uh, yeah, she yeah. went to walk behind the bar when those things the, the flap to get in the bar and like, smashed on her head. Earlier, actually, I picked up a kid on my shoulder today and see the beam over there, and he smashed his head on the beam. What? That's, just, that's like the scene from basketball. Yeah, he hit his head, and he was fine. But good thing no one got on video, because I'd be, uh, people writing tweets on Twitter saying I'm beating kids now yeah. that are not Marco stunts. <laughs> Do you, now, Marco gets a lot of heat. Yeah. Unwarranted? Unwarranted yeah, completely. Yeah, right? Kids love it. Oh, of course kids love kids it. Adults love, lo adults love Marco stuff. The right kind of adult. There are some that seem super judgy. Everyone's going to realize what's Marco. Uh, once things really, really start picking up, in AEW, and you see Marco stunt on a Nickelodeon kid show, and he's making more money than all these haters on the internet who work at Subway, being sandwich artists. They're gonna realize that they were wrong, and they're gonna they're gonna bring it to them with the, to the grave. But Marco Jungle and Luchasaurus, that has Nickelodeon TV show written all over it. It really does. All right, last thing here, because I gotta run down and, and talk to Darby here in a second. Now you dressed up like Jim Cornette for all of it. Yeah. Did you not? Now, did you hear from Jim? Like, I feel like he rubbed it in Jim's face so much. Does he just not bother with you anymore? Oh, no, these guys are such, they're, they're really losing their minds. Yeah? Like, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people, a lot of wrestlers from the past um, they had issues with Jim, and a lot of uh, a lot of people with a lot of websites have been hitting me up saying, these guys are legit losing their minds because you're making them so angry. Yeah. And the thing is, I, 
you know, they like to play it off like they're just, you know, they're not angry. I'm living in his head. He's living in my head rent free is what he said. I was about to say, that's the 80s. But these guys are so stupid. Like, I gave Marcus not a package of collar right off the top because I didn't realize he was hurt. And I knew it was a move I could perform safely where he breaking down the, the wall here. Thank but you. realized I could protect him with the move and I absolutely didn't even touch. But these guys are going on the internet calling me unsafe all day and every day and I have no track record of ever injuring anybody. No, so, not at all. Uh, you've injured yourself more than you've injured others. Exactly. I have no track record. I've been wrestling for 15 years. So a lot of people say that I'm untrained. They don't realize that that's not the case. That after I got the business untrained, I went to many schools and I have a bigger seminar and camp list than any wrestler in the independence fucking, and maybe any wrestler ever, that I've done more training camps and seminars with the who's who in the wrestling business, that I'm perfectly trained and capable of protecting somebody and my track record speaks for itself so fuck you Jim Cornette fuck you Brian Last you guys are fucking cucks and uh, hopefully one day Jim I can join the other wrestlers in the hot tub while you sit there and watch your uh, I'm not even gonna go there alright well we're done banana here. boy banana bitch boy alright we're done here uh, thank you all very much uh, the bad riled up it's got to be riled up. I didn't even try that hard, you know? You just kind of... The OVW jacuzzi days. I know about that, Jim. The OVW jacuzzi days. The banana boy. All right. And uh, I think we'll call it there. Thank you, jo thank you, Joey, for the time. And uh, Wrestling Inc. Stick Houseman here at StarCast. Uh, stay tuned.